we're going to talk a little bit about how to use Excel to make calculations and in this particular case how to calculate concrete so let's start let's kind of give our spreadsheet a, a name okay and let's uh, bold it and give it a little size here we're going to put thickness and I'm hitting enter and it brings brings you down to the next cell we're gonna need length I'm hitting tab and it goes over we're gonna need width I'm hitting tab we're gonna need thickness again and let's put this as yards and let's put a section for total. I'm going to hit enter. All right, I'm going to highlight A5, cell A5, that's the reference, A5. And I'm going to hit control and I can highlight A7 through E7. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to bold it and I'm gonna give it a little bit bigger size now you see because nothing's in B5 thickness just runs right over into the next cell which is great no problem over in cell A7 and accordingly to the right it is not showing the the name properly so why don't we uh, change that. If we come up here and grab this line we can change the, the widths of our cells. Or you can double click on it and it will take it to the appropriate width. Okay, that looks better. Now we're going to put the length. Let's use an arbitrary figure of 8 times 10 and I'm hitting tab I need to bring this over and we're gonna put a formula in our thickness cell we're gonna say equals a6 divided by 12 that's the number of inches in a foot And in this case, there's nothing in there. Let's put four in there, four inches. And as you see, it calculates out to the decimal of a foot. In this case, four inches is 0.33. In yards, we want to put a formula in here. We're going to put equals. And it's going to be the length, A8, times, and I'm just hitting the little times button on my keyboard times the width in parentheses times the thickness and we have to divide by 27 and there we go now we're just less than one yard so you wouldn't order you know less than one yard so why don't we round that up and we'll have a total column here so we'll put equals round up this cell one place and as you see it does actually take 0.98 and rounds it up to one great all right now if you're actually ordering concrete you don't want to really order one yard if you have calculated it out to one yard because you're going to need waste so let's go back up into this formula and we're going to change 
this a little bit. We're going to add another parentheses and we're going to take D8 and we're going to multiply it by 1.1 1 .1, which is which will give you 10 percent. There you go. So now you have the yards rounded up with a waste factor of 10 percent and that's realistic. Now that's good if you have one line here. Maybe you have different uh, areas of concrete that you need to figure. So we can actually take and fill our formula all the way down. So I'll show you how to do that. But first, what we're going to need to do in this, since we're refer referencing this cell, A6, for the thickness, we want to make this A6 an absolute reference. So if you highlight A6, and you hit F4 on your keyboard, you'll see these dollar signs come in here which say basically that as you you fill these rows in with the formula, you don't want it to go to the to take the next row. I'll have to show you, but it's going to continually reference this cell A6 all the time no matter how far you go down. Okay, so and you'll see that in just a second I'll show you. Okay, so we're good. We'll hit enter. All right, so now I'm just left clicking. I'm highlighting. I'm pulling it down. And you can do this as far as you want. I'm letting go. Now I'm going to hit control D on the keyboard. And it takes that formula and puts it down. Now what I was talking about is here, see this is this cell reference A6 is now over here A6 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 A6. As you see, this references A8 times B8. And if you go to the next cell, see it knows Excel is smart. It knows that the next one you want is A9, B9. So if you hadn't have put an absolute reference here, it would have continued down in the same fashion. So it would have messed you up. Okay, all we need to do now is, well, let's look here. If you wanted to change it, say you had one section that was thicker, say uh, one section was six inches instead of four. You can just change it, put six in here, and it gives you 0.5, and you're good to go. Now to total, we're going to put equals sum of this cell through this cell and there we go so hopefully this gives you an idea what you can do with Excel it's very basic but it shows you uh, that Excel will do quite a bit for you and hopefully I'll be doing some other tutorials on Excel because it's a great program and uh, you should be using it if you're doing this type of work Thanks for joining me and take care.